Hospitality is here at the World's 50 Best Restaurant Awards 2012, just standing outside London's Guildhall, waiting for chefs to arrive. They'll be here in just minutes, walking down this purple carpet. So I'm here with Brett Graham of The Ledbury. Uh, Brett, uh, what are you expecting to see on the list this year? I'm not sure, you know, it's not sort of one of those lists I think you can predict what's going to happen. I think, you know, there's so many judges, I presume, across so many different places of the world that you don't quite know, actually. And I think there's probably a bit of speculation, but I haven't heard any, and I'm not making any guesses either. Uh, the Ledbury was highest new entry last year. Uh, what are you expecting? Are you, are you hoping it, it will retain its, its position, or what, do you have any thoughts? Uh, no, I, I mean, I think the fact that we're in the top 50 is enough for us. You know, we're, last year we were surprised to even be in the list. We didn't expect to be in the list, and we were. And same thing this year. You know, the fact that we're in that 50 um, is, is great for the young team we've got working there. And so, you know, I'm, I'm happy just to be here. And the Ledbury's won plenty of awards recently. Um, how, how are things going with the business? Yeah, very, very good, actually. I think, you know, the early days of Ledbury were quite a struggle. And we tried very, very hard to make the business work and try to improve it and try, try to always constantly improve our product because we didn't have the covers there. Now, demand is massive and, um, you know, it's a very privileged position to be in and one which we don't want to let go. The Brett Graham's London restaurant, The Ledbury, winner of the highest new entry award last year, climbed up 20 places to number 14 this year. And St John has been on the list for several years, hasn't it? Um, uh, for a long time, yeah. I fear maybe this is a, uh, who knows, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> How, what, what do you think it is that's made it uh, continue to stay on the list for so long? You're asking me what I say, because it's, it's, um, wrong person to ask is me really that question. It's tricky. You're, you're too modest. St John in London, run by Trevor Gulliver and Fergus Henderson, fell out of the top 50 this year after spending the last nine years on the list. We've been lucky enough to be coming for a few years, but uh, here, here under dinner tonight, so should be good. And you excited about um, potentially being on the list this year? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if we make the list it'll be it'll be a great thing, but you know, there's a lot of great restaurants and you know, we'll see. Do you um, think that the UK gets enough representation on the the world's 50 best list? Um, yeah, I mean, th this is the thing. There's there's so many restaurants, you know, even outside of London, you know, Sat Baines for example. It, there's so many restaurants in this country and I think London on its own as well is, is, is pretty exciting. And in terms of how things are at dinner, is everything going okay? Are you enjoying it still? Yeah, all going well. Um, I think, you know, this year is um, it's going to be quite an exciting year. It's, 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 it's a little bit challenging at times. I think business is a bit challenging for everyone across the board. But uh, hopefully it should start to pick up momentum now um, and everyone should start to see uh, a little bit of increased business, I think. Collecting the highest new entry award for this year was Ashley Palmer Watts, executive chef at dinner by Heston Blumenthal, whose restaurant was also the highest UK restaurant on the list, coming in at number nine. Well, congratulations to you, Elena, and congratulations to you last year. Um, do you think you're going to be an inspiration for other female chefs? Bueno, I, I, you know, I, I was uh, always surrounded by, by women. The 80% of the staff in Arzac is women. There are six women that are chef the party. As I told you, my mother was in the restaurant. My grandmother was a chef. And for me, I always lived. I never was uh, asked if I am a woman or not. But uh, this prize as well uh, wants to honor Madame Clicot from La Maison Ben Clicot, no? And that was a, a woman very brave and uh, th for me this is uh, an honor for of course for for his memory for the woman and for the gastronomy and the working in general and uh, I, I hope to to make it well eh? muchas gracias The awards came to a close with the announcement that Danish restaurant Noma had retained its number one spot for the third year running. For an interview with Noma's head chef René Redzepi, the Ledbury's Brett Graham, pictures from the event and the full top 50 list,
Visit bighospitality.co.uk or like Big Hospitality's Facebook page, facebook.com slash bighospitality. Hospitality.